Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be solving a board exam problem under construction and structural engineering. But before that, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to be updated for our future uploads. The problem is. A load W that is equals to 30 kN is lifted by a boom BCD as shown in the figure below making an angle theta equals to 60 degrees from the vertical axis. Neglect the weight of the boom, the pulley, and the cables. Determine the following. First is the angle beta between the cables AC and AD, point C is in between points B and D. Second is the tension in the cable AC. And lastly, the reaction at point B. Now to solve the first problem, let us analyze this diagram. First at point A, the forces we have are the horizontal and vertical components of the reaction at point A, which are denoted as AX and AY. The weight of the block W, that is 30 kN, and the tension force of the cable, denoted as tension AC. At point B, we have the horizontal and vertical components of the reaction at point B, which are denoted as Bx and By, and the force acting on the boom, force BCD. Taking the summation of moment at point B, that is equals to zero. This gives us Ax multiplied by the length L times cosine of 60 degrees, minus the weight W multiplied by the length L times sine of 60 degrees equals to zero. The length L will cancel out. Ax would be equal to the weight W that is equals to 30 kN multiplied by the sine of 60 degrees divided by cosine of 60 degrees. Or we can say 30 kN multiplied by the tangent of 60 degrees. And this will give us a value of 51.96 kN. And then considering the summation of all forces acting on y axis at point A equals to zero. We have a y is equals to the tension AC multiplied by the sine of beta. And also considering the summation of all forces acting on x axis at point A equals to zero. We have a x is equals to the tension AC multiplied by the cosine of beta plus the weight of the block. And then tension AC multiplied by the cosine of beta would be equal to AX minus the weight W, that is 51.96 kN minus 30 kN is equals to 21.96 kN. And then after that, we will analyze all forces acting on the boom only. So we have the horizontal and vertical components of the reaction at point B, which are denoted as BX and BY. The horizontal and vertical components of the tension AC, and the tension AD which is equals 30 kN, and lastly the weight of the block W. Taking the summation of moment at point B equals to zero. We have 30 kN times the length L times the cosine of 60 degrees, plus the tension AC times sine of beta, times one half of the length L times sine of 60 degrees, plus the tension AC times cosine of beta, times one half of the length L times cosine of 60 degrees. Minus 30 kN times the length L times sine of 60 degrees equals to zero. All the length L will cancel out and we note that the value of the tension AC multiplied by the cosine of beta is equals to 21.96 kN. And then getting the value of the tension AC times sine of beta. We have 30 kN times sine of 60 degrees, minus 21.96 kN times 0.5 times cosine of 60 degrees, minus 30 kN times cosine of 60 degrees, divided by 0.5 of sine 60 degrees. And this will give us a value of 12.68 kN. And we know that tangent of beta is equals to the tension AC multiplied by the sine of beta, which is equals to 12.68 kN, divided by the tension AC multiplied by the cosine of beta, that is equals to 21.96 kN. We have the value of beta equals to the arc tangent of 12.68 over 21.96. This gives us a value of 30 degrees. Moving on to the second question, and that is to find the tension in the cable AC, 
we have the previous equation that is tension AC times sine of beta is equals to 12.68 kN. Then substituting the value of beta, we have tension AC is equals to 12.68 kN divided by the sine of 30 degrees. And the result is 25.36 kN. And then the last question is the reaction at point B. Using the Pythagorean theorem to get the reaction at point B, we have the reaction R B is equals to the square root of the square of both horizontal and vertical components of the reaction at point B. And since B X is equals to A X, the value of B X is 51.96 kN. And then to solve for the B Y, we have 30 kN minus the tension A C times sine of beta. Substituting all the values. This will give us a value of 17.32 kN. And then the reaction at point B would be equal to the square root of 51.96 squared plus 17.32 squared. And the result is 54.77 kN. And that's it for this video. Please help this channel by liking this video. And to be updated for our future uploads, please subscribe and hit the notification bell button.